friends. I'm Richard Farmer, Acting Assistant Deputy Minister for the National Department of Pusillanimous Obfuscation, Western Division. Recently, many of you expressed your concern over this government's decision to cancel the Avro Aero project. This film will reveal the shocking truth about the activities at Avro, and you will come to understand why Prime Minister Diefenbaker's decision was in the national interest. The Avro Aero, an overpriced disaster of an airplane, said to be able to travel twice the speed of sound, or Mach 2. The only Mach it achieved was mocking the taxpayers of this great country. The so-called Avro car, an idea pulled from the adolescent minds of the Avro designers, clearly influenced by pulp science fiction of the lowest kind. What next? A trip to the moon? We have obtained filmed evidence of the strange and misguided inventions taking place at Avro, that until the decisive action of this government was draining Canada of its reputation and money. Hello, I'm Dr. Carl Engblom, and I work here at AV Row. And it's not just aircraft we built here at AV Row. I'm here today to show you some of the other projects that we're working on. This is a new form of information storage on disk. We have found that we can store the information as something called binary code, which is a series of zeros and ones. We find that later on we can reaccess these zeros and ones and have the information replayed. We believe that Binary code will be a very important form of storage of information in the future. Ones and zeros. Why keep the one? I give this idea just a zero. This is another concept we're developing called the electronic game. Many of us here at AV Row think there is fabulous potential in this area. This particular game is called Puck. The fellows just can't get enough of it. This is another concept we're developing. We like to call it the Avro Web. It's an interconnected network of communication machines that will one day allow people to access unlimited amounts of information from all over the world. Electronic games, interconnected machines. Now you can see why this government put an end to the madness in Malton. When it comes to the creation of advanced technology, Canada should leave it to the experts. Of course, I am referring to our neighbors to the south, the Americans. Inventions like the arrow were likely to cause Canada to be noticed on the world stage, even leading to dangerous overconfidence and creeping self-reliance. Nobody likes a braggart. The future of this land relies on our God-given ability to chop wood. Thank you for your time.